Hi, my name is Antonio Roberts and I'm an artist, hacker, curator, new media artist, coder, programmer and whatever else you can think of and I'm based in Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Today I'm just going to give a very short presentation about my artwork, the processes involved and how it kind of came to be where it is today. So, having finished my studies at Staffs University in Modern Media Graphics in 2007, I came back to Birmingham thinking to myself, where are all the creative coders? Um, where are the people who mix sort of art and technology? Do they gather in one big space or are they all haphazardly spread around the West Midlands? Um, so, rather than wait, for some, wait around for someone to do this, in 2009 I started the Fistbot Hackerspace with artist Nikki Pugh. Um, a hackerspace is like an open garage of lots of tools where anyone with an interest in creative coding um, or programming in general can just learn and collaborate with others. The projects range from usual circuit bending to just software hacking. Um, and over the two years that I ran it, it was largely successful. We had uh, visits from lots of famous um, scientists including Mitch Altman and got lots of support from local art groups including Vivid, Friction Arts and Hello Digital. And I guess really the thing that I like about hackerspaces and Fizzpop is when this kind of thing happens. At the moment where through lots of dedication and hacking a light switch is on both on the circuit board and someone's brain. Now to this this is a very to most people this is a very trivial task. But to those who maybe not even know how to program their microwave, let alone a circuit board, this is a truly inspiring moment. And it was for me too. Um, having lots of people to bounce around ideas off uh, brought me to a point where I was questioning the things around me. How do they work? Why do they work in this way? And how can I uh, change them to work in a different way? So through the suggestion of a friend, um, I was introduced to Glitch Art, which I feel combines this love of hacking and taking things apart, as well as visual art on screens. Now, Glitch Art is the turning of errors into art. There's no doubt in using your time through your time using computers you encountered something like this and you usually try to fix it or um, discard it and try again and make it work. Um, the glitch artist likes to seek those errors out and make it into art. For me glitch art is really about deconstructing everything and figuring out how computers work. Now computers are quite stupid and um, you tell them to do something and they will do it no matter what um, that command is. Um, and computers don't really can't really tell one type of data away from another. So, for example, in this, you can tell a program that the audio data is actually a piece of image data, and you can import it into a piece of software and display an audio file as an image. Now, I'm not alone in my quest to find glitches and presentment er as errors. In 2010, the Glitch Arts Festival in Chicago became one of the first to focus purely on art created through errors. It featured, it featured contributions from artists all over the world and saw people from across the US and further afield, myself included, come together for a week of ideas and skill sharing. I like this idea of gathering um, usually internet based artists so much that the following year, in 2007, I helped bring the festival to Birmingham. In 2011, with the support of Arts Council England, Birmingham City University, Vivid and Fizzpot, Glitch came to Birmingham. Like the previous festival, it had a week of, oh sorry, a day of workshops, presentations, film screenings and performances. Now this uh, represented a pivotal moment in my artistic career. Um, this usually quite distorted and quite frankly geeky practice uh, received a lot of support from, and credibility from a range of institutions, but more importantly family, friends and people who, if, even if they don't understand it, took the time to learn more about it. Um, the disappeal of glitch art though isn't new. A Google search will reveal tens of thousands of articles and millions of images around the subject. Even artists like Kanye West, Dizzy Rascal have been using this, utilizing glitch art in their work since 2009. Now it seems like the conversation has moved from how it's made to why would you want to do it. I am personally interested in how glitch art can help us understand ways in which we communicate messages. So if we can take words, symbols and images out of the usual context and deconstruct them, do they still have the same meaning? Uh, how much do we, before we destroy an image, does it lose its original meaning and gain something new? So for example, logos which um, are the driving force of products and the things that we use and buy, um, what if they were distorted in a way? and deconstructed um, from a legal standpoint are these new logos the same as the old logos? 
um, in this next piece entitled uh, What Revolution, I've taken the image of Che Guevara and distorted it to the point where it's almost lost all of its meaning. Now this is more of a commentary on how his face has become um, since before a long time, not an image of revolution and protest, but just another fashion statement. Um, my upcoming project, uh, Comic Sans Must Die, is a tongue-in-cheek look at how the most hated, uh, the most hated font in the world, Comic Sans. At what does it point does it stop being Comic Sans when it's deconstructed? By doing so, by doing this deconstruction, do we reveal some sort of hidden design element? Is it more valid as a piece of animated um, design rather than it is a font? Now, these are only a handful of the projects that I've done in my time, uh, but hopefully they some reveal to some of you something about my process and the ways in which I like lurk working and how it's brought me to be in front of you today. Um, but I guess one theme amongst all of my artwork is that of collaboration. Now, it's kind of, it sounds kind of cheesy, but knowledge is indeed power, but I think it's more powerful when it's shared. Uh, many of the projects that I've um, done would have not happened were it not for the kind uh, kindness of people who've spent years learning how to uh, do things and them sharing my share. Now, so, I, 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 I hope to do the same, and I including music uh, 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 and to my website and contact uh, Twitter if you need any more of these messages. Uh, thank you very much. I'll be on the internet.